Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing hooks all over the trailer and what they're going to be used for is for putting dogs and dog chains on the trailer so that they can quickly go to the bathroom when we're traveling and whatnot. And I'm also going to put some hooks up on the hay rack and we're going to get a cargo net installed. It's really windy today so I apologize in advance. So let's go up to the hay rack and get some hooks installed. Welcome to Redbeard Outdoors. My wife and I travel all over the country with our Dodge Ram 3500 Laramie Longhorn Mega Cab and our 40 foot featherlight horse trailer with living quarters. We travel with our various number of Irish setters and our three horses Biscuit, Melody, and Tara. Okay, here's the cargo net. Uh, we're going to use it for storage and hay up here on the hay rack. And what we want to do is put some D rings down so we can clamp some heavy duty D clips to it. And then uh, this, this hay net will kind of stretch most of this hay rack. We're going to put another one of these water totes to the front. And so there's going to be a gap for that. It won't go all the way to the front, um, but it will cover the middle right here where we're going to have all of our storage. Water tote install to come in the future. So this secondary drilling hole is an inch and a quarter and I didn't go all the way through. And I think I'm gonna be able to back the screw down through there. So let's see what happens. Okay guys, I put four clips in. Um, we need two more, but we're short a couple clips for this project. So I just kind of wrapped them around the hay rack there and clipped them just to give you guys a visual. This cargo net's gonna hold all of our hay in place, which will be really nice. This cargo net is a four by six, by the way, but it uh, definitely can stretch out a lot longer than that. And it comes with a ton of D-rings, 12 of them to be exact. So if you have anything else you need to clip to, you can pretty easily. Okay guys, up next we are going to put some dog hooks on the side of the trailer right here. And I'm going to show you that process. First you're going to take a marker. Place this where you want it. Check the backing, of course. Make sure nothing's back there. And then mark and mark. Okay, I, I'm using a 5 16th stainless steel heavy duty drill bit. It's made for drilling through aluminum, so um, this should be fairly easy. You're gonna want to make sure you have those heavy duty drill bits for sure. Size may vary on the clips that you have, but I'm using 5 16 for this, so let's go.
You want to make sure you have your shop back handy so you can clean up these shavings. Okay guys, now that you got your holes drilled, you're going to take your bolts and your D-ring assembly and, and shove it in there and hold it. And then reach around the back side and put your washer on. We have the uh, self-locking nuts, so they should never fall off. Especially, you know, going down bumpy roads and whatnot. Ready, get back there with your wrench. There you go, there's the final product. I am putting four on today. I uh, will probably have a total of eight eventually. Um, but I'm just going to do four today. So uh, let's get a dog on it and test it out. Reason's here, so she's our lucky dog that gets to get chained up. What do you think? What do you think? She's pretty used to this, so. What she usually does with field trials is she'll crawl under the trailer and sit in the shade. One of her favorite things to do. Stay out of the sun. The fact that she laid down shows you how comfortable she is on the chain. She's been doing it her whole life, so she knows what to do. Okay guys, that's going to do it for this install. I got a few more to put on, but I'm not going to do that on camera. Uh, one of these days I'll show you the final product, probably at a field trial when we have some dogs set up and um, you can uh, see them in action. So if you found this useful and you want to do it to your trailer uh, and have any questions, give me a comment or if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Uh, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the next Redbeard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors.